Hello and welcome to the 10th video in my How to Paint the Horus Heresy Legions video series. In this video we're tackling the Night Lords. So we've got a model here, it's primed in Vallejo Model Air Black and this is a Mark V Space Marine. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to give the model a Zenithal Highlight with Liquitex Titanium White Ink. And then we're going to spray over that with Citadel Cantor Blue. For the lightning bolts, we're going to start with Thunderhawk Blue and we're going to paint some thin straight lines, then branch off of those, paint some more thin straight lines. We're going to do this a couple of times per lightning bolt just to create this shape. After that, we're going to highlight the areas where the lightning bolts fork with Fenrisian Grey. And then we're going to highlight within that Frisian Grey with some white. After that, we're onto the other base colors. So we're going to paint the shoulder trim and maybe the face mask in Canoptec Alloy. Then we're going to paint all the other metal areas of the model with lead belcher. I'm going to paint the armor seals and the gun casing in black. Then we can put our transfers onto the model using micro salt and micro set. Then give the model a coat with Vallejo matte varnish. Once that's dried, give the model a coat with MIG Streaking Grime. And we use MIG Streaking Grime because it has better colour consistency than AK Interactive. Once that's done, we're going to reduce the grime by taking a cotton bud, soaked in enamel thinner and rolling it across the model. And then we're going to take a dry cotton bud and roll this across the grime to mop up any excess. To add some variation to the grime, we're going to use some dark streaking grime again by MIG and we're just going to splash this onto different areas of the model. And again, we're going to mop up any excess with a cotton bud. To add some rust, we're going to take MIG streaking rust effects and we're going to paint these into splashes across the metal sections of the armor. And again, we can remove any excess with a cotton bud. To add some variation to the rust, we're going to take Troll Slayer Orange and we're just going to pat this onto any of the metal areas just to add these bright rust spots. With that done and the model dried, we can see we've lost some definition in the model. So we're going to use black enamel wash again by MIG and this is just going to help to pick out any of the details that we've lost. So we're just going to use this on any areas like armor joints, any recesses, parts of the gun that we want to help be more defined, anywhere really that we just want more definition. After that, we're going to do our base. So we're going to take Vallejo European Thick Mud and apply a coat of this to the whole base of the model. Add some little model bricks.
Add some scale modeling barbed wire. Paint the bricks with some dark streaking grime. Paint the barbed wire with some dirty down rust. Splat the whole base of the model with some dark streaking grime. And also with some MIG Kursk soil. The eye lenses, we're going to start by painting the whole of the lens with a 50-50 mix of black and corn red. Then we're going to take corn red and paint that into the center of the whole of the eye lens. Follow that up with Mephiston Red. I'm just going to paint that within a smaller section of the middle of the eye lens. I'm going to do the same with Evil Sun Scarlet. Then take Troll Slayer Orange and just paint a thin line along the bottom edge of the eye lens in the center. Then some Aerial Yellow and again paint another thin line within that Troll Slayer Orange. And apply a little dot of white to add a little reflective shine. After that, all that's left to do is to paint the base rim of the model and we're using black. And there we have it. There is our Night Lord. As I said, this is the 10th video in this series. I'm really, really enjoying it. We're on to the second half of the series now. So we've got a few options of what to do next. I think the next one will be Ultramarines and then I'll put a poll up on YouTube again as I did for this one and see what everyone wants to do after that. I hope you enjoyed the video everyone. If you did, please give it a like and share it and subscribe to the channel it massively helps i've got affiliate links in the description below so if there are any products that you want to use that you've seen in this video just have a look in there and you know how to use them now thank you very much for watching everyone see you next time